Wrong choice to wear a turtleneck. <laughs> Come on. Yay! Yay! Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney and today's my birthday. <laughs> So today is my birthday. I was born 24 years ago to the date and I have a lot of really obnoxiously sweet people in my life who sent me presents and books from my wish list. So today we're just gonna open them and celebrate together. I got my hair cut today early in the morning. I don't know if you can tell, but I have layers now. It happened. Today we are still enjoying pumpkin spice nitro cold brew because I'm that bitch and I love pumpkin. I guess let's just like Start opening them. Ready? Okay. This one. Oh, I should have grabbed a box cutter. Scissors, scissors. I don't have a way to open these boxes. I should have thought ahead. Let me go grab something. I've decided to channel Mel here in this video and we are using a knife. So, first box. I should be more careful. Okay. It's like Christmas. There are so many things. Okay. Okay. So this one, oh, it's from Molly. Okay, it says, I love you. Wanted to get you this because you had a bad day at work and I love you so much. You're one of my bestest friends in the entire world. Also, I want to read this so bad from Molly, XXXX. What is it? I did have a really bad day at work recently. I mean, those happen a lot here. So, so that's really sweet. I love Molly so much. Oh, I really am excited about this. It's Horrid by Katrina Leno. So I had read Summer of Salt by Katrina Leno and absolutely loved it. I think I gave Summer of Salt like a four out of five just because it was a very predictable book, but like the atmosphere and how much fun I had while reading it made it fantastic, you know? Like it was, I had a great time. So now I think that I'll pick up pretty much anything that Katrina Leno puts out. And I'm pretty sure this is like a, like a horror book or like a supposed to be like a scary novel. Ooh, it says, is this grief, mental illness, or something more horrid. <laughs> Molly's texting me right now. <laughs> I love you too, Molly. <laughs> so that's really exciting. I'm really looking forward to picking this up. Let me keep all my notes with my with my books. Hey, okay, this is a big boy. This is a big one. <laughs> Someone did the gift wrap. <laughs> Who is it? Oh, it's from Danish. So Deja from Deja's Book World. It says, happy birthday, Strudel. I hope you have the best day ever and I hope you love this book. Actually, I know you're going to love it because it's amazing. Uh-oh. <laughs> Got the double bow, double ribbon. Ooh, this is like a nice bag. Hmm, maybe I could use it for toiletries or something. Wait, what, hold, hold on, what is this? Oh, it's like a printed version of the note. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that. Oh, okay, I was really hoping someone was gonna get me this book. Um, and that is The House in the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Klune. I just know that everyone has been loving this book and I know that a lot of people have been crying at this book. And in the words of Jaleesa, I'm ready to cry. <laughs> So I will read this when I feel like I need to feel something, you know? <laughs> Whoever folded this dust jacket though, didn't do a great job. So disclaimer, by the way, most of these books that I probably have gotten, I won't give a very great synopsis on. I'll just kind of either give you like the catchphrase of the book or like what some of the blurbs say because I have a live show going on in about an hour and I'm just trying to like, you know, have fun and film this. I'm not gonna stress out about what they're about, uh, but I will give you better synopsis, synopsis? <laughs> synopsises when I actually pick up the book to read it. But in the meantime, this one says, a magical island, a dangerous task, a burning secret. And a blurb says, the house in the Cerulean Sea is a modern fairy tale about learning your true nature and what you love and will protect. So yeah, I'm really excited about this one. This one gives me, like the cover of this book really gives me um, a series of unfortunate event vibes. What is that, the third book? I don't know. The one where they're on that like cliff in that house, you know what I'm saying? So those are the vibes I'm getting. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but just from the cover, that's what I'm getting. And I'm really excited about it. Let's open a bag this time. Let's open a bag, okay. Okay, let's see the note. That's a receipt. Nope, here it is. <laughs> this one is from Nessa and it says, happy freaking birthday. And oh, <laughs> oh my God, I I love this. I This is another one that I really wanted to read because of BookTube. BookTube is changing me, guys. I literally never ever wanted to read romance. And now I'm like putting romance novels on my wish list, like The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. I just know that people love this book and I know it has Asperger's, yeah, Asperger's representation. Um, so I think that it's about the girl 
who doesn't really know like how to have sex basically or how to be romantic, you know, that type of thing. So she hires a male escort to kind of teach her how to do these things. And I haven't really heard any bad reviews on it. So I guess I'm gonna be doing a romance vlog at some point in my future. So I'm really excited. I love this yellow spine too, wow. So thank you, Nessa, so much. I'm really excited. Let's do another bag, shall we? Why are these so hard to open? That didn't even do it. Okay, let's try this side. Okay. <laughs> that didn't do it either. <laughs> okay, this is from someone in the group chat. I know it is. Wait, there's no note? Guys, who did this? <laughs> who did this? Okay, I really like the size of this book. It's bigger than a Mars, Mars market, bigger than a mass market, but it is smaller than like, you know, a normal size book, if that makes sense. Normal size, I don't know. Hold on, I need to text the group chat and see who sent me this book. <laughs> Information to come on who sent me this, but I know nothing about it. I added it to my wish list because of the group chat that I'm in, and I know Jalisa, I think Deja read it too, I can't remember. A lot of people in the group chat love this book and they're raving about it. Okay, I'm gonna put this right here so that I remember to let you know later. While we're waiting for a response, let's just open another one. Here we go. Happy birthday, Sydney. I absolutely adore your content. I hope you have a fantastic birthday. Also, congratulations on your engagement from Whitley Sue. Thank you so much for all of the things. Um, let's see. Oh, it is Nevermore, Tales of the Morrigan Crow. Trials of the Morrigan Crow doing really well. Okay, and let me explain. So I have Nevermore. It's sitting over there at the bottom of one of my piles of books. Um, it's a hardcover version, but when I ordered it off of thrift books, it came without the dust jacket, so it's literally just like a purple book. But I wanted the cover, you know? Like, I wanna see the cover. And I'm so happy that someone decided to get this because I've been wanting to get more into middle grade books. I really haven't read that genre of book since I was that age, so I think that it would be a lot of fun. And I think that I would love to start reading more middle grades so that I can start having like a list of books that I can recommend to my nephew when he gets of age. And But my sister-in-law is pregnant again, so I'm going to be an aunt times two. And I would just love to begin a repertoire of books that I could recommend to them, you know? So this is really exciting. Thank you so much. So let's go back to a box. It's like I'm sawing it. It's fine. Whatever works. <laughs> that didn't even work. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, Deja got me two books. Okay, so this one says, happy birthday, Strudel. I'm so happy that we are friends. You are such a light in the booktube community and I love you. I hope you have the best day. I know this is nonfiction, but it's one of my favorite books ever. And I am so glad that you got this for me, Deja, because if this book wasn't in this, you know, stack of gifts, I was going to purchase it for myself. It is Hood Feminism by Mickey Kendall. And I have heard so many good reviews about this book. I've heard that it is important and I've heard that the messages are really well represented and well described, you know? We gotta throw some nonfiction in our lives every now and then. And I'm so excited to put this in that list of nonfiction books that I have. Yeah, this is definitely one that I'm super excited to read like really, really soon. I know I have a lot of buddy reads coming up, but like, this is high on the list for sure. I've been wanting to read this since I saw a bunch of people talk about it recently on booktube. Yeah, I'm really excited. Thank you so much. Update on From Blood and Ash. Um, Kristen <laughs> has reacted to my message with a heart and then another message with a laughing face. So I don't know if she did it or not, but real time updates, that's where we're at. Still don't know who got it for me. Okay, we're working on it. <laughs> Abby's cuddling me right here. She's so sweet. I love you, baby. My good girl. All right, let's open. Ooh, this one feels like a big boy. We have three more after this one. Ooh. So this one says, happy birthday, Sydney, from Ray. Her channel is Bookmark Chronicles. And, and it is The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. I am super excited for this. I know that Molly really likes this book. She loves this series. It's, it feels like a really nice paperback. It's kind of smaller, but it has a really nice flop. So I'm already really into it. Oh, cool. Okay, 
because I have Priory of the Orange Tree right there and I want to read that too, but it's so big that I have to like schedule a time, you know, to read it. So in the meantime, or after, I don't know what's happening with my life, whatever, I want to read The Bone Season. This book was one that came up when I was watching booktube like way before I even considered starting a channel and I had put it on like a wish list or like a little note in my phone of series or books that like I was finding that I was interested in and for whatever reason I just never actually purchased it. Avi has her head on my lap, guys. She's so cute. My heart, I can't handle this. My heart is literally going to explode. The top of it says, for the past 200 years, the Scion government has led an oppressive campaign against unnaturalness in London. Why am I holding it like this? Wow, that hurt my wrist. <laughs> so basically there's like clairvoyance in it and practicing clairvoyance is deemed a criminal offense. So there's like an underworld of clairvoyance people and it sounds really good. So I am excited about this. I know they just recently came out with the latest installment of it that Molly actually got an arc of, which I'm so freaking excited for her for. But yeah, thank you so much. Okay, group chat is blowing up. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, so I think it was from Molly too, because apparently in the group chat someone has said someone better buy this for me for my birthday and Deja said she thinks that Molly bought it. So Molly, you are too much and I love you so much. Thank you. This knife sucks. I don't know. No books were harmed in the making of this video. This one is, you know I had to, girly. This is my favorite book of 2020. I hope you love it too. Happy birthday, my friend, from Miranda. Okay, I love hearing that, that it was someone's favorite book of 2020. I mean, that means that I have a great chance of loving it. Yes! Okay, so if you know me, you know that I love dragons. I think that I, I put on Twitter, like asking people some like dragon books, you know, like what books are your favorite that involve dragons? And I think Miranda was the one that recommended this book. So I looked it up and I added it to my wish list. And I think obviously she bought it for me for my birthday. So it is House of Dragons by Jessica Cluez. And it says, five houses will hear the call to compete for the dragon throne. A liar, a soldier, a servant, a thief, and a murderer will answer it. Who will win? And a blurb says, an action-packed fantasy that has it all. A world you want to live in, a lovable cast of characters, and most importantly, dragons. <laughs> I really like the cover. I think it's really badass. It's really cool. All the hilts of the um, swords have different dragons on them. Yeah, no, that's really cool. And this is a book that I had never heard of before it was recommended to me on that tweet. So I was even more excited about it because it has potential to be like a really good underhyped book. Thank you so much. I'm really excited. This puppy is just cuddling me so much. I don't know what I did to deserve her love today, but I am receiving it and I love it and I love you. Another bag, there's two more. Okay, ready? Get the note, get the note. This one's from Darian. It says, happy birthday, Sid. You know I had to get you this when I saw it on your wish list. I hope you have the most amazing birthday because you're amazing and I love you from Darian. I love you, Darian. If you guys are not subscribed to Darian, you're messing up. She's literally so creative. She's so sweet. She's so wholesome and funny and go subscribe to Darian. What are you doing? <laughs> I knew it. Okay, I knew someone would get me this book, but above all, I knew Darian would get me this book, and that is Strange the Dreamer by Lady Taylor. This is like Darian's brand. It's her favorite book, at least one of her favorite books for sure. It's another book that like, I know it's super popular and I just haven't read it, nor did I have it until right now. So I, I have it, I have it right now. <laughs> and it is a great paperback. Let me tell you about it. The font is pleasing for my, for my eyeballs. Ah, yes, that's so exciting. Thank you so much, Darian. Wait, where did my note go? Where did I put the note? Is it in my lap? Did I put it somewhere? Oh, it's right here. Found it, crisis averted. Okay, so it's Strange the Dreamer, I know nothing about. Nothing, not a thing. Oh, but. Leigh Bardugo has a blurb right on the front cover, so I'm in. It says, Lainey Taylor is so damn good and like no other. So if my queen likes this queen, I think we're all set. I have one more, one more box. Let's get it. Another gift bag. Two toiletry bags. <laughs> I don't have a toiletry bag for like traveling. It's a, it's a struggle, okay? These bags are nice. They could be used for that. This one is from Mel. So this one is, happy birthday, Sid. Thank you for being the sweet person you are and for being a ray of sunshine. I hope you enjoy the book. It sounds incredible and have the best of birthdays. XO love from Mel. Again, this double ribbon action. 
Love it. It's the vibe. Oh, okay, I'm very excited for this. The cover of this book is just one of my favorites that I've ever seen. Okay? Okay? It is The Last True Poets of the Sea by Julia Drake. Ooh, and it has a blurb from, on the top from Madeline Miller that says, Profound and Page Turning. Look at this cover. It is absolutely stunning. It is so pretty! With the word poets and this cover in the title, I put it on my wish list if I'm honest. I don't know anything about it. Ooh, and it's in Maine? Oh my god, I love Maine. Maine is one of my favorite states ever. Wow, okay. A blurb says, a lush and provocative story, a book reminiscent of its main setting. Removed from all else, rustic and lovely. At once hilarious, insightful, and swashbuckling, Drake's debut is a lyrical adventure like no other. Oh, so cool. The design of when the parts break, that's so cute. Okay, I'm so excited about this. Thank you so much, Mel. <laughs> to me. All of these are such good books in here. My heart is so full. Thank you guys so much. Especially in times like this, like you did not have to get me a thing for my birthday. So I am very humbled that so many of you decided to send me a book for my birthday. And even if you're not able to, I thank you so much for all of the happy birthdays that I've gotten on Twitter. Look at all of them. Oh, there's so many. They're so pretty. Thank you guys so much. Seriously, I don't deserve you. That's it. <laughs> it is time Time to go get set up for my live show. I'm just doing like a live show hang and read sprints type thing in about a half hour. So I'll go get that set up, but thank you so much for taking time out of your day to come hang out with me for a bit. If you watch till the end, leave the little birthday emoji guy, you know, the one that's like blowing the horn with like the confetti around it. He's one of my favorites. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below, like the video. I appreciate your support and all of your love. Don't forget to be kind to one another and happy reading. <laughs>